Hey guys, Zephonix here, and let's go over the VGAs for today. For those who have missed it, and uh, I've gotten a lot of, could you please do a review for the um, BMAs, um, you know, mail. So I'm gonna go ahead and just run down a list of what I thought. Um, first of all, I want to say how excellent it was to hear Claudia Black, um, who has lent her voice to the, um, her voice talents to uh, Neopets. Um, God of War, and most recently she's played Morgan in um, Dragon Age Origins and Chloe in Uncharted 2. So I just want to say how great it was to hear that point. I knew exactly who it was, like off key. I'm like, <gasps> so anyway. So um, first of all, the new Arkham Asylum Batman game was announced. They didn't say it was Arkham Asylum. Let me rephrase that, but it was a new Batman game that was announced. Um, looked like it's going to be done by Rocksteady Studios again. So yes, it was definitely good, and it had the voice talents of um, the whole show actually started out with um, the voice of Joker, a.k.a. Mark Hamill. So, yeah, it started off really good. So I was really, you know, excited for it. Uh, Jet Black won Best Male Voice. Okay, not a bag. I think it was Male, male, male Voice. I was, okay. So a new Tron um, game was announced. Okay, you know, I'm not a big Tron fan, so, yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, a back, Best Action Adventure was um, Assassin's Creed 2. Um... Deadliest Warrior, um, Deadliest Warrior video game was announced too. Now the key word that I noticed was download 2010. Download. That was an actually interesting um, word to use. So that just leads you to, to know that it's most likely going to be um, digital distribution, but we don't know yet. Um, also, um, the UFC Undisputed 2010 was also announced, which will have Kimbo Slice in it, according to Kimbo Slice. So yeah, that's also good. Um, Rocksteady Studios, the creator of Batman Arkham Asylum, won Best Studio, which is funny because I actually was today going to um, ask you a question of what uh, are you a studio fanboy? Like, what studio do you love and do you stand by everything that they do? Like, for me personally, you guys know I'm a huge Bioware fan. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I want to say that. Um, what else? Um, Samuel L. Jackson came out as only Samuel L. Jackson can do. Announced the Force 2 Unleashed. Um, excuse me, uh, the Force Unleashed Part 2, which uh, I gotta admit I didn't see coming. Um, I kind of thought that Lucas Arts would have put out a game that um, their fans have been asking for for so long, but no, they put out that. And I'm not by I'm not saying that the game is bad. The Force Unleashed. I'm not saying the game is bad. I'm not. I uh, actually do have it, but I mean I, I'm a Star Wars fan. What can I say? I have every single Star Wars game that ever came out. At least on a PC. So, uh, and actually, scratch that. I got it for the Super Nintendo and also other systems too. But, I mean, I just wanted to go ahead and get it. So, yeah. I mean, I figured out what it was too in the first 10 seconds. I'm like, wait, that's Darth Vader's voice? And that's, that's, oh, okay, I know what it is. But, uh, also, apparently Hulk Hogan is coming back to TNA. That's not a surprise there. Um, they showed this commercial twice. I'm like, ah, oh, not a big surprise. I knew he was going right after um, his divorce. Hugh Jackson made best, um, best male voice. Oh, and also best supporting cast. He, um, X-Men Origins Wolverine to me. So, yeah, really good. Um, it's a good game. If you haven't played it, it's a good game. Hey, Action Funk 3D. He just <laughs> said, hey. Hey, doing a vid on the VGAs. I just gave you a shout out anyway so <laughs> um what else megan fox won best human um voice which kind of surprised me uh, best he female human voice rather it surprised me um best dlc was shadow complex no surprise um best wii game was super mario brothers wii no surprise there um best dlc was um uh, gta 4 gay tony no surprise there uh, most anticipated game was G uh, god of war 3 no surprise there uh, Medal of Honor looked like Modern Warfare 2, just not. I mean, mm, I don't know what you want to say. Then Mike Tyson came out, um, looking kind of fat. I mean, just, I mean, I gotta say, he did kind of look kind of chubby there. And he made this joke about his two fists being cracked ribs and concussion. And someone should have introduced him to Hook on Phonics and a sixth grade reading level. Because it took me a while to figure out what the hell he was talking about. I mean, I you know, I guess we all need a paycheck, right? Um, best shooter and best best multiplayer went to um, Modern Warfare 2. No, nowhere near a big surprise. Um, then he did another quickie thing again. Um, best fighting game, Street Fighter 4. Um, no surprise. 
Um, best handheld game, GTA um, China Wars. Uh, best driving game was Feroza 3. Best soundtrack was DJ Hero, no surprise. Best Xbox game, funny enough, was Left 4 Dead. Um, what else? Best original score for Halo 3 was, oh, best original score was Halo 3 ODST, which even though I chose that as a joke, kind of surprised it won. <laughs> um, best game for a movie or TV show was the South Park game, I've never played it. The Stevie Wonder came out and spoke about how games should be accessible to people with di um, disabilities. I'm not sure how it's going to work out with blind people, but okay, sure. I mean, you know, I guess so. Um, what else? Um, best music game went to Beatles Rock Band. Um, and, uh, it was good. I'm kind of surprised. Um, the best band, a, a, a band came out called The Bravery, or from The Bravery, rather. Um, I don't know. The song, I thought I knew who it was, and I was like, oh, that's the song from Rock Band. At the same time, the lead center looked kind of high, so I don't know. Uh, last but not least, um, they showed Halo Reach, finally. So we finally got to see something on Halo Reach, the second um, trailer. And the first one that even qualifies as a trailer, just a teaser. Um... Oh, I should just stop calling them teasers and start calling them piss me offers. That's what they should call them, piss me offers. Cause like, why bother showing some bullshit like that? That just pisses me off. Anyway, um, so let's see. They showed um a Spartan in the game. They say it was a Spartan. They confirmed confirmed use a Spartan. They didn't say which Spartan it was, or if it was a new Spartan, or was it um the Master Chief? It's possibly the Master Chief, but it's doubtful. Um. Okay, and the winner, the winner of the year was Uncharted 2. Um, excuse me, and also won best graphics and best PS3 game, um, all of which is good, and it's actually really good because I was kind of getting worried because I noticed that Uncharted was missing the mark with a lot of games. They were um, nominated for a lot of things and they missed a lot of them. So they did win best graphics, best PS3 game, and um, and uh, uh, with, oh, game of the year. Ooh, can't believe I forgot that. So yeah, Uncharted for the win. Definitely good job, um, to Naughty Dog Studios. Fantastic job! Uh, once again, I gotta say, um, I don't know. PlayStation Three fans, yell out Uncharted Two for the win! Type it right down there. Uncharted Two for the win in caps. In caps. You guys proud that Uncharted won? In caps. By itself, put Uncharted Two for the win. You guys have a good night. Zephyrnix is out.